Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's review of the RST Maverick Evo textile jacket. RST's Maverick Evo is a textile jacket with a removable waterproof membrane, a five-piece set of armour and a decent price tag of £229.99. I've worn it for around 300 miles on the road so I can run through the essential details and give you an idea of what I found it to be like out on the road. The outer is made from RST's Maxtex material which is well known and it's tough enough to get this jacket a middle ranking AA rating within the CE standard. Also the shoulders are reinforced with a very tough ballistic material as well. It fastens with a zip up the middle that's protected by a double storm flap. There's a guttered flap that folds over the zip and then the second one is secured over that with Velcro and press studs. A nice touch as well is that the gutted flap stops a few centimetres short of the collar, which I found reduces bulk around the neck. The collar fastener is pretty basic, it's a Velcro flap, but it does the job, and I found the collar sat at a good height for me. It's not a high neck like you'd get on some jackets, but it sits at the height that I prefer, which is a little bit less restrictive on my freedom to move. The simplicity extends to the cuffs as well. They're Velcro closures on cuffs that open up wide enough to comfortably go over a winter glove. I'd say they suit that setup better as there's quite a lot of cuff to try and fit inside a glove. Fit adjustment comes from belts at the waist and biceps and there are also zipped pleats at the hips. There are accordion stretch panels above the elbows and at the shoulders and these will let you run a slightly closer fit without restricting the movement of your arms. You get decent vents, there's large fold back chest panels, zipped bicep vents and also two zipped vents on the back. And those get a good opportunity to work well with this jacket because the waterproof membrane on the inside is removable. If the membrane is fixed into a jacket, then you've still got that membrane blocking out air even when the vents are open. Being able to take that membrane out is a big benefit if you want a jacket that's going to be effective in higher temperatures. I wore this one on some hot days and those vents worked well at keeping me comfortable. Right, before we go inside and look at the liners in more detail, let's cover the exterior pockets. There are two at the waist, which have fold over closures that secure with Velcro panels. If you undo the zips at the sides of those pockets, then you've got somewhere to tuck your hands when you're off the bike and they've got a nice soft fleece lining in there as well. There's also the customary pocket at the lower back that you find in many longer touring style jackets like this one. That's got a fold over top closure and it's big enough to accommodate the waterproof liner if you want to keep that convenient in case a dry day turns into a wet day. Right, let's go inside the jacket. First we get to the thermal liner. It's a full sleeve liner and it zips in at the cuffs which is a neater solution than having buttons to hold that in place. I wore this jacket with just a t-shirt underneath and the thermal lining fitted when the temperature was around 12 to 13 degrees Celsius. I found it comfortable enough for an hour's ride in those conditions on a Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GT, which I think is a perfectly respectable performance from a thermal liner. If we take that thermal liner out, then we get to the waterproof membrane. It's RST's own Senacqua liner, and it has a waterproof rating at 10,000 millimeter static head, which is a higher rating than most rival jackets at this price. It's got its own zip fastener that's covered by a storm flap, and you combine that with the twin storm flap set up on the main shell of the jacket, and it shows that you're well protected against water getting through the main fastener. I wore this jacket in some pretty wet weather and stayed dry throughout. The idea of having a jacket with the liner on the inside is that the outer shell is treated to resist as much water as it can, then when the water does finally come through, the inner jacket stops that water reaching you. There are no pockets in the waterproof liner, so if you're riding with just this liner fitted, then you'll need to partially unzip the membrane from the outer jacket so you can reach the pockets that live in the main shell. I spent most of my time with this jacket wearing it in that configuration with the waterproof membrane in and the thermal liner out and having to move the membrane out of the way to reach the internal pockets was a bit irritating. Remove the membrane and then we get down to the mesh liner. This is where we get to the armour. The standard shoulder and elbow armour is very airy and it's rated to the higher level 2 within the CE standard which is not something you commonly find at this price. It's type A armour which covers less of the body than type B armour but I would be very surprised to find type B armour in a jacket that's available for this sort of price. There's a back protector insert included as standard which is another big positive for this jacket. It's a soft insert that meets the basic level 1 within the CE standard for impact protection and you can upgrade that insert to the higher level 2 if you like as RST produce a level 2 insert which costs £30 as we record this. While we're on the inside let's just show you the label for the CE rating. This jacket is AA rated which is the middle of three levels as things stand. 
The final thing with the interior, the connection zip. There's only one and it's a full length zip. This means you can connect the Maverick Evo jacket to any pair of RST trousers and it will be easier to do that as there's no short connection zip getting in the way when you try and zip the two together. If you want matching trousers for this jacket, they're really easy to find as they're also called Maverick Evo. They have the same construction and materials, the same AACE rating and the same removable waterproof and thermal liners. A pair of those trousers are £179.99 as we record this, so combine that with this jacket which is currently £229.99 and it's about £410 for the two. Okay, so my take on this jacket is this. A jacket with a removable waterproof membrane is great for people who want coverage for all temperatures. It's not though the ideal solution for someone who expects to be riding in rain a lot. The ideal for someone like that who's consistently riding in the wet is to have a jacket with the membrane laminated to the outer shell. That does cost more money. RST's laminated jacket is the Pro Series Commander and that's £70 more than this Maverick Evo as we record this. But if you can't stretch that far or you just don't want to stretch that far, then this is a more versatile jacket for a different, wider range of conditions than having a jacket with a drop liner. If you've got a drop liner in your jacket, it won't come out on really hot days, whereas this will. As jackets with removable liners go, this is a good one and the price is good too. It's well thought out, it's nicely made and everything works. It is quite long in the body, that suits me, but it might not suit everyone. And I would rather it had an internal pocket that is a bit easier to get to. Otherwise, I think it's actually quite hard to find fault with this jacket. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the RST Maverick Evo jacket, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.